Hi guys, this is the man from Motorhood. So guys, I'm on my way to meet uh, Misfit Megalian. That's his uh, Twitter handle, and uh, he has been on a solo cross-country ride across India. He's covered almost about 100,000 kilometers. Took over one and a half years, and uh, he's done the entire country. Uh, is now actually on his uh, uh, journey to travel around the world, and today he's giving his uh, he's meeting up with people at a cafe Always almost reached the market, uh, you know, Oscar's village, basically where I'm supposed to meet him. So let's see what do we have in store. Guys, so uh, let's meet Rohit. Rohit Subramanian, yeah, and he Mr. Madeleine, aka Lone Wanderer. So, uh, Rohit, tell us what have you been up to? Ah, uh, okay, I've been on the road for the past uh, one year. It's been 365 days on the road so far. 
I've written around the entire India. So I rode around all the states and Indian territories in India for uh, five months. After that, I went to Southeast Asia, where I did uh, ten countries. Uh, I rode around in all the countries, and yeah, I've been riding for a living. And uh, a traveler, wanderer, dreamer, nomad. Put whatever adjectives you want to that. Sure, yeah. great. Uh, so, Rohit, what is it? Uh, you know, what made you uh, leave the comfort of home and travel around? Okay, right from childhood, I always wanted to be a traveler. So, uh, I feel that uh, it's it's really important to be that, and I never felt comfortable at home. To be very frank and very honest, I never felt comfortable sitting at one place and doing something. So, every day I want to be living a different life, waking up to new things and different things. So I think that's the reason I just push myself and uh, travel gives me happiness, it gives me a sense of satisfaction and I think that's why and motorcycle is because I have a control over my destination and since I'm riding alone, it's freedom for me. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing. And what are your plans next? I'm off to Europe after this, after this I have another 185 countries to complete. But yeah, that's, that's all is possible here. After that, Mars and Moon is still left, so soon. <laughs> so Rohit, uh, we would also like to know how did you manage the money bit? You know, okay. something that everybody worries about before they set out for their travel. Yeah. Uh, I did something called crowdfunding where individuals contributed smaller denominations of money to basically fund my travel. In terms, they got rewards. There are three levels of people who contributed. First one is the people that I know, that's my friends and family. Second level is the people that I might know, that's my mutual friends, acquaintances and stuff. And last is the unknown crowd that I've never met. They funded me because they want something as a reward that I'm giving them and the other thing that they were giving is uh, that they were very similar interest and uh, passion towards what I'm doing. Okay, so that's why they funded. And then brands came into picture. So I got funded for traveling and riding a motorcycle around the world. I kind of like took things in a different angle and different eye and I think that's why brands came and started funding me. Uh, one common thing that everyone asked me is how you got funded. I kind of like addressed what a brand wants from me rather than saying what I have to offer. Okay, so I said what am I giving you rather than what you are giving me, you know. So that worked in a major extent for me. Great. And what's the one tip that you would want to, you know, give it out to the people who are dreaming, sitting in their corporate jobs, wondering how to make it click? I think I'm going to talk about not one but two or three. Uh, one is uh, live the moment. You know, if you're happy doing what you're doing now, keep doing it. If not, do something that makes you happy. Second thing, uh, all it takes is some say, five seconds of courage to do what you want to do and something good out will come out of it. It's a movie quote. I'm recreating very badly but somewhere there. So just go out and do. Like, you know, go with the flow. That's two. And the last thing is, it's one life to, you know, have regrets. So just go out and make your dreams come true. Last and final thing that I want to say is, uh, it's going to be tough, it's going to be a very difficult journey, but have the hard work and persistence and perseverance to do it, you will do it. Sure. Now, while we wrap this up, a, a quick question, uh, you know, for myself, yeah. what's up with the beard? Uh, I get paid, paid to grow a beard. Uh, now I don't have the brand because I'm switching between two brands, so I can't officially say who's paying for this beard now. It's no man's land now. But yes, this is a sponsored beard. I get paid to grow a beard. Yeah. So guys, if you want to travel, you can have a beard and that may pay you. Sarat yeah. Chennai, note this. Thanks, Roy. Thanks, Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. A very difficult question. You started off with a very, very difficult question. Who I am? You know, I've been trying to answer that, but yes, in a few words, let me say I'm a... Now it's time to go for a family dinner, and I'll see you soon. Bye!